since this is for the complete noob, nothing will be assumed. So as you can see, we have a mesh over here, and in this mesh is where all of our geometry is going to be held. Think of it as a container. And inside this container is going to be our model, our, our geometry that we're going to use to build our model, which is these over here. These are our primitives. Cubes, spheres, cylinders, all that good stuff. Now, I'm going to start out with a cube. So if I click the cube, and you can see this grid here pointing straight up and down. And when I rotate around, you can see it flips and orients with whichever way I'm facing. If I tilt up, floop, it flips to where it's flat. Okay? So I'm going to tilt my camera forward till that grid snaps flat. And then I'm going to click and drag with my left mouse, and I'm going to drag out a square like this. Okay? Now hold your alternate key and your left mouse button to zoom around, alternate and control key and left, left mouse button to zoom in and out, and alternate shift left mouse button to pan. Okay, now that I have this cube drawn out, I'm going to grab this middle star here and drag it up to give it some thickness, like that. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay. Now this cube is inside this mesh container. If you want to right click and rename it to cube or I'll call it base. We can do that. Now we need to run a cut all the way down and around the middle here. Now there's several ways to run a cut inside Modo and the easiest way is to select the loop and run a loop slice. So select two, two polygons in the direction that you want your loop to go. So I'm going to select this one and this one and then I'm going to hit the L key. And when I hit the L key you'll see that what goes ahead and selects that whole loop. Now that I have what I want cut selected, I'm going to go over here to my Mesh Edit tab and select Loop Slice. Now, um, you can have a symmetry, free, or uniform. We're going to pick symmetry, which means both of them will be moved at equal distances. And count of one, I'm going to use two because that's how many cuts I want. Now, if you select Slice Selected, you'll cut what's selected. If you don't slice, select, slice selected, you don't have to select the whole loop like this here. Um, let me give you an example of that. I will just select two, okay, and select loop slice. If I select slice selected and click it, you'll see it runs my two symmetrical loop slices, but it only sliced the polygons I had selected there. Okay, so if I uncheck that, you can see these ain't selected, so it only slice selected. If I uncheck that, it goes ahead and runs my loop slices all the way around. Okay? So let's go ahead and make that a count of one, and that'll give us one cut right down the middle, 50%. Okay? So I'm going to go up to my top and select edges, and I'm going to double click this middle edge we just created, and that will select the whole loop. Now, we want to hit the R key, or go to your basic tab and hit the scale button right here, or that's transform, I'm sorry. Hit this right here. This will give you your scale. And what we want to do is grab the center circle and scale that puppy out like that right there. Spacebar to drop your tool and you click to deselect everything. Now we're still in edge mode. Let's uh, select, double click these side edges. Hold the shift key down to select more than one. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and rotate around and double click these corner edges. Now you can see all my corners are selected. So now what I'm going to do is I want to run the bevel tool under mesh edit. So I'm going to select bevel. I'm going to, now the tool isn't activated until I click in the canvas. I'm going to click in the canvas and that will activate my tool. Okay. So now I'm going to go grab my blue handle and I'm going to bevel out like this. I make my round level of about two. And I'm going to pull out way out like this right here. Now let's up our round level a little bit. Make it three. Now we have some nice beveled corners. So now let's double click the top edge, the middle edge, the bottom edge. Let's go ahead and bevel that. Click to activate and let's just barely bevel it just a tad. Spacebar drop the tool. Click to deselect everything. Now we have our base for our joystick that we're making. Let's rotate up to where we can see the top of it here, or you can come up here and say top, 
Let's go to our basics tab. Let's grab another cube and let's draw a smaller cube right in the center here like this. Let's go back up here to our perspective view. Grab our middle green little plus there and drag up to give it some thickness. Now let's grab our green arrow and drag up. Pull it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have this little square right in the middle. Okay. So let's go to our edge mode up here. Let's double click that. Shift, hold your shift key and let's go around and double click all these top edges. And then again we want to bevel these. Under mesh edit, bevel. Click to activate. Let's bevel it a little bit. Like so. Okay, now we have this. So now let's go back to our basic tab. Let's grab a cylinder this time. And this time let's uh, drag out a cylinder. We want to make sure over here the radius is the same. So I'm going to make it 4 inches by 4 inches. Again, let's grab our little middle green plus and bring it up. Drag up on our arrow. Okay, there we go. It's a little round for my taste, so let's make it smaller. Not quite as thick. That looks pretty good. We'll drag this up to make our joystick handle. Space bar to lock it in. Let's go to polygon mode up here. Select this bottom polygon. Hit the R button for the scale. And let's scale that in to give it a little taper. Okay. Now let's double click the whole thing. Hit the R key and let's scale the whole thing. And then scale it up in the Y. Make it a little longer. Hit the W key to bring up our move tool. And let's pull it down. Now we have our joystick. So now let's put a top on our joystick. Let's, let's, let's roll, rotate around to where we're on top. Let's grab our sphere. And let's control click and drag a sphere out like this. And let's roughly lay it in even. Pull it up. Now we have the top of our joystick. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to make our buttons real quick before we run out of time. Let's grab another cylinder. And let's put one right here. So, drag up. And yeah, maybe not quite so tall. But like that. Right there looks good. So now let's go to polygon mode. Select this top polygon. Let's hit the B key and click to activate our bevel. Let's bevel in on the red handle. Like this. And I'm going to hold the shift key and click. That reactivates our tool. I'm going to pull up a little bit. Shift key, click again, red handle, bevel in, shift key, click again, and pull up. And that makes a button, so let's double click that button. Command C will copy it for us now. Now if we go ahead and directly hit Command V, it will paste it. You can't see anything, but if you hit the W key to pull up your move tool and move it over, you'll see you now have a copy of that. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's back this up a little bit. Okay, now we have our buttons on our joystick. So now real quick, I'm going to pull up my presets. This will give us a chance to um, use our presets that come with Luxology. I'm going to go to my meshes. And we will go to electronic devices. I'm going to pick this headphones. Now here we go. Here's our headphones. So I'm going to double click this cable and command X to cut that cable out of there. Okay. So now I can get rid of these headphones altogether. So I'll go over here in my items list and right click. Delete. Okay. So now here we go. Let's go ahead and go new item mesh. Then I'm going to hit Command V. That's going to paste our cable in there. I'm going to double click it, hit the R key, and scale this puppy way up. Hit the E key to bring up my rotate. Rotate it around. Bring up my W, hit my W key to bring up my move tool. Bring it back like this. 
and we will make sure it goes into our joystick there spacebar drop our tool click the deselect now let's go ahead and middle mouse select all these this part of the cable here like so and delete it same thing down here delete it go to our edge mode quickly grab this double click that edge hit the Z key for edge extend click to activate and extend it out now we can hit command X to cut all that out if we would like to and paste it back in with our joystick so that is our joystick